Hi, my name is Jonathan Clark. I've got another Ableton Q&A video here. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about automating the global tempo in Ableton. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about this, not sure why. I thought I covered this in my DJ Mix video, but it's possible I didn't do a very good job. Um, and it's also possible that a lot of people didn't watch that particular video, so maybe you found this for some other reason. Anyway, very simple to do, so let's get down uh, right to it. Now, <clears throat> obviously, if you're doing live DJing, you're going to approach things differently, because you look up here at the... Uh, global tempo and you can just click on it with your mouse and move up or down and change the uh, tempo in real time that way. Very simple. And if you don't want to change it by whole integer increments, you can, on a PC, you can hold down the control key and then when you move up and down you go by a tenth of a beat per minute um, and I assume it's the command key it would do exactly the same thing on a Mac. Okay, but if, if we're talking about a studio mix that's been programmed out um, like this one here in the arrangement view, then you're going to approach it a little bit differently. Okay, so let's look down here at the master track. And first of all, you have to make sure that this first top drop down menu shows mixer. And then secondly, you know, you're probably going to start off on something like track volume. You want to be on song tempo. Okay, at the moment, our global tempo up here says 125.7 beats per minute. So if I were to play this mix through, it's going to stay at 125.7 beats per minute the whole time. But if you look down at this line, it's kind of a pink dash line, most over it, and it becomes solid. That level right now, because there's no blue dots on it, which are called automation breakpoints, that level is 125.7. Now I can click on it and drag up and down, and I can set it to whatever I want. Let's say we set it to 132.131.89. Up here, you can see that the global tempo indicator has changed to match that. Okay? Now, what's the range? Right now, these two uh, numbers here, 125 is the low range, so that would be the various, very lowest level visible, and the top range, 135, would be the top. If I want to have my um, mix playback outside of that range, it's easy, I can just change it. So I could go 155, I could go 110, so I've got a lot bigger range to uh, play with. Down from 110 up to 155. Okay, but let's, uh, let's say I'm playing uh, mostly around 128 beats per minute. I'm going to put it in a smaller, tighter range so I have a little bit more precision. Um, I can also raise this to give my uh, give myself more flexibility. Anyway, to to change the tempo as the mix plays, all you have to do, double click, adds a breakpoint. Let's double click here, add another one. Okay, so this one is 125.7. I can drag and let go. Okay, and so now when I'm at this point in the mix, directly above this breakpoint. I'm going to be going, my tempo is going to be going 129.03 beats per minute. Back here, at the start of the mix, it's only 125.7. It's going to get faster and faster as the mix plays. That's all you have to do. It's so simple. Um, so this, this would be ideal if you want to gradually ramp up the mix. Now let's say that you want to, um, let's say that you want to have it a fairly constant volume until this song here, Corporation Mushrooms, comes in and then you suddenly want that to go faster, you could do something like this, and then bring it back down. So as, as you're playing through the mix this way, your tempo, which was at about 125.7, is going up around to 126.4, staying pretty constant, and then drops back down, and then starts ramping up. You can do all sorts of crazy uh, stuff with your tempo. Now, of course, as a DJ, you're probably not gonna do that very often, um, automating the, the global tempo is used a lot more commonly in production. So think of a track like, uh, like an old rock track, uh, Blood, Sweat and Tears, a song that was called And When I Die. That one kind of goes at a steady tempo for a while, but there's a section where it gets a lot faster, um, just starts accelerating, it's up accelerating. So something like that, if, the, um, if rather than having a DJ mix 
on in our uh, in our arrangement, say that we were actually producing that song, it might be that when you get to the point where you want the part accelerating, you just do some tempo automation. And then after that part's over, it goes back to the regular speed for the rest of the song. Uh, maybe a better example, uh, let me think of an electronica one. Um, Sandstorm by Derude. Um, it's got that section where and it starts going faster and faster. They would have used some sort of similar tempo automation to this to, uh, to get that effect when they were producing the song. Okay, the only things that you really have to watch for, if you, let's say that you did have a long gradual ramp up throughout the song, and you cut a couple bars, <coughs> let's say you cut a couple bars out here in the song, edit, delete time, okay, where that cut happened, let's see if we can zoom in, okay, you can see now there's two different breakpoints at different speeds, that's because the point when this finished and this started, it was getting faster. So if you do cut bars out of a section, you will probably want to double click and delete those breakpoints and get it back to a constant, constant uh, ramp up. Uh, yeah, like I say, this, this is more useful in uh, production work. Um, I, I usually do a little bit of automation in my weekly radio show and have it from the start of the show to the end of the show jump in tempo maybe two beats per minute so it gives a little bit more energy as the mix progresses but anyway that's all you have to do and thank you for watching